Have you ever wondered what lies beneath the vast expanses of the Indian Ocean and why China is so interested in exploring its depths? It's a question that has captivated the minds of many as China's maritime activities continue to stir intrigue and concern. Recently, the Chinese research vessel Shi Yan-6 made its way to the Colombo port in Sri Lanka. Its mission? To conduct marine scientific research off the Sri Lankan coast. Yet, this seemingly routine scientific endeavor has caused ripples of unease. India and the United States, among others, are casting a wary eye on these developments. The rising frequency of Chinese vessels visiting Sri Lankan ports over the past 15 years, amidst an ongoing border conflict between China and India, has only heightened these concerns. The growing presence of China's navy in the Indian Ocean and its control over strategically located ports evoke fears of Beijing gaining a significant military advantage. The mystery around China's interest in the Indian Ocean sets the stage for our exploration into the evolution of China's research activities in these waters. To understand the current situation, we need to step back in time to when Chinese research activity in the Indian Ocean first began. It was a time of curiosity and exploration as Chinese vessels ventured into these unfamiliar waters. Little did we know these initial forays were just the beginning of a saga that would continue to unfold over the next 15 years. As the Chinese vessels began to visit Sri Lankan ports more frequently, they found themselves under the microscope. The ongoing border conflict between China and India had already strained relations in the region and these new maritime activities only intensified the scrutiny. The Indian Ocean a body of water known for its peaceful trade routes and rich biodiversity, was suddenly a stage for geopolitical tensions. These first instances of Chinese research activity in the Indian Ocean weren't just about scientific exploration, they were also about power, influence and control. Every visit to a Sri Lankan port was a reminder of China's growing naval presence in the region. Every research vessel was a symbol of China's commitment to expanding its knowledge and understanding of the ocean's resources. But amidst the tension and scrutiny, there was also a sense of mystery. What were these Chinese vessels really looking for? What was the ultimate goal of their research? The answers to these questions were as elusive as the ocean's depths. It's important to remember that these early instances of Chinese research activity weren't isolated events. They were part of a larger narrative, a narrative that continues to evolve even today. The Chinese vessels that docked at Sri Lankan ports all those years ago were the harbingers of a new era of exploration and competition in the Indian Ocean. This initial exploration was just the beginning of a long and complex relationship between China and the Indian Ocean. The People's Liberation Army has five meta-mission objectives and the third one, collecting intelligence, is particularly intriguing. These objectives guide China's maritime activities, but it's the third one that really catches the eye. Collecting intelligence isn't just about gathering information. It's about understanding the world around us, making sense of the patterns, and predicting future scenarios. Now, let's take a closer look at how they go about this. Chinese research vessels come fully loaded, equipped with a plethora of sensors and instruments to collect oceanic and atmospheric data. They've got it all, from sensors for meteorological data, to acoustic Doppler current profilers, and even multi-beam echo sounders for seabed mapping. What's fascinating is the sheer breadth and depth of the data they're gathering. They're not just skimming the surface, they're delving deep, mapping the seabed, understanding the currents, tracking the weather. It's a comprehensive, all-encompassing approach. But here's the kicker. The collection of this data isn't just a scientific endeavor. It's part of a larger, more strategic plan. The big question is, what's the ultimate purpose of this colossal data collection effort? And that, dear friends, is where the plot thickens. So. What is the ultimate purpose of China's persistent exploration and data collection in the Indian Ocean? Well, let's dive a bit deeper into the potential motives. China's ongoing research activities are not just random maritime expeditions. 
they are meticulously planned and executed with precision. The collection of oceanic data is a strategic move. It provides China with invaluable information about seabed resources. Imagine the wealth of resources that lie untouched on the ocean floor. These resources could boost China's economy, fueling its growth and global influence. But there's another layer to this strategy. The collected data also prepares China for submarine warfare. Knowledge of the oceanic terrain, its currents and acoustic properties can give a significant advantage in underwater combat scenarios. This understanding could be the difference between victory and defeat in a potential conflict. In the vast expanse of the Indian Ocean, every piece of data is a puzzle piece fitting into a larger strategic picture. The oceanic data holds the key to understanding China's strategic objectives in the Indian Ocean.